Hello everyone, welcome to a special edition of Rant Time with Klaus. Blast to the past edition. Okay, now normally I wouldn't talk about like something that's considered old, but this one I had to make as a very special exception to you because I just recently came across this bullshit. And this is um This has to do with women against feminism. Or more so specifically Fem feminism against women. Yes, that is actually a thing. Feminism is turning on their fellow women. Why? Because of women against feminism. That's why. Okay. Now, before I tear some of these images apart and just... Just shred them like the piece of fucking filth that they are, let's take a look at some of the real women against feminism. Here are just a few examples of that. I don't need feminism because my self-worth is not directly tied to the size of my victim complex. As a woman in the Western world, I am not oppressed and neither are you. Yeah, let's get, listen to her. Like she, She's got a point going on here. List me some of the examples like of women's oppression because I don't see any. I don't need feminism because I am not delusional, disgusting, hypocritical, man-hater. I respect men, and they respect me. Yeah, that's total oppression. <laughs> no, it isn't. I don't need feminism because I'm an adult who's capable of taking responsibility for myself and my actions. I define myself by, uh, and define my, own, define my own value and standards. I do not need to be empowered. I'm not a target for violence, and there is no war against me. I respect men. I refuse to belittle them and blame them for my problems. So, yeah. Here's... Yeah. There was the, um... Real Feminine Against Feminism. However, with that came a series of images by one... Well, Rebecca, Rebecca Brink, who was determined not to respect the viewpoints of their fellow women. Like, being serious here, and this is no sarcasm involved here, but I seriously wonder why. I mean, come on, you would think that these fucking idiots would be more than willing to, um support their point of view they would give the big hooray and applaud these women as proof of feminism's efficacy but no 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 fuck no fuck that shit fuck that fuck everything about these anti-feminist fucking women no fuck no fuck you that's that's what much what they're saying okay so here is Rebecca Brink's first okay, first image I'm gonna be showing you guys, and throughout this, throughout these um, images, she wears a series of wigs, so don't be confused. Like all these are pretty much Rebecca Brink, and doesn't she look this utterly creepy in this picture? I mean, she looks like she's about to stab someone, or she looks like she could be the type that could be a pedophile. Anyway, let's see what she's got to say. I don't need feminism because I have poor reasoning skills and I have failed to see aggressive or defensive feminist rhetoric within the context of centuries of ongoing violence against women. So we can see like, right out of the gate she's playing the victim card here. Centuries of ongoing violence! Except for she takes uh, fails to take into account that most Victims of m male violence. Like, let's be real here. I can, I can see that most violent people are men. But here's the thing. Most men are violent towards other men most of the time. Okay. I won't deny that there is male violence against women. Okay. I, I will not deny that. But men are the ones that's most likely to be assaulted. 
they are usually the ones who are killed. Not women. Okay? And, uh, don't even get me started on the other problems that men face. Uh, uh, like, that's a rant for another time. I don't need feminism because of all the really bad stuff that happens to women only happens to women in other countries, right? And who cares about other countries anyway, right? Okay. Now, with what my previous rant times has gone up to tell you, I am an anti-feminist. But, if we're talking about, like, other countries such as Saudi Arabia, certain, um, parts of China and all, and many third world countries, I would, I would fully support a women's suffrage movement. I mean, why would I not? I mean, come on. I'm all for putting women on equal political and social footing with men. But here's the thing. Most anti-feminists, such as myself, we, we tend to push the point that feminism here in the West is obsolete. I mean, what do, you really, what, do you really th what do you really think about it? This fucking point is more than fucking proven by the fucking fact that you look at the fucking bullshit that the fucking feminists have fucking bitch about. Such as the imaginary rage... Yeah, they toss around the imaginary rage gap that all vanish... That just completely vanishes when you take into account factors other than gender. Which is what I, t which is what I talked about in my, in my first rant time about feminism. I, it's feminazism. Okay, I, I, I gotta quit saying feminism. That's, they're not real feminists. I don't need feminism because the only way I think I can get along in this role is by pandering to the status quo and shitting on other women. Okay. First point about this one. What status quo are you referring to? I mean, for fuck's sake. I mean... Are you maybe referring to the, um... Okay, okay, no. You're not referring to that status quo just being pushed by feminazis. And, <laughs> shitting on other women? <laughs> yeah, you're one to talk because you're the one fucking shitting on other women. By m making these ridiculous inept attempts, attempts at satire. I mean, seriously. You think, okay, or Rebecca Brink, you think disagreeing with feminism is synonymous with shitting on other women? Yeah, but, okay, this is gonna sound stupid, but, oh my god, women are the only fucking feminism is the only women! Go fuck yourself, Rebecca. I don't need feminism because I spent my childhood around people who told me that, that women who had sex before marriage were sluts and whores and now I'm afraid of my own body. Okay. Big red flag right there. Okay, I, I don't normally like to talk about this. But right here, it is important. Women who had sex before marriage to sluttons and okay, if you're one of those okay, women who have a ton of sex, yeah, that's you can call those sluts and whores. But here's the thing: women, as well as a good a good handful of men, don't have sex before marriage because they actually respect themselves. I mean, I will openly admit I'm still a virgin. Okay. I am not married yet, so therefore I see no reason to. That, that's just my point of view. Okay? Women tend to respect themselves. That's why they don't have sex before marriage. Get that through your fucking head, Rebecca Brink. Ugh. I don't need feminism because I'm a teenager who has... In entered the workforce yet, and I don't know what constant sexual harassment or watching unqualified people get promoted over me feels like. 
This just spits itself in the fucking face here. I mean, come on. You... Okay, I'm not even going to be sarcastic here. I'm just going to say this out front. You don't... get to determine how qualified you are over your co-workers. Uh, that's better. He's getting... Oh, here, bear attack to charge him. Yeah, I'm actually using a wireless headset. There you go. That's kind of one of the cons of using a wireless headset. He's got a clear constant charge. But on to the point here. Okay, you don't get to decide, just determine how qualified you are over your co-workers that is more so has to do with your job performances your background your educational like everything and from what I can see from this you're just a spoiled Brian who thinks like everything should be handed to you on a silver platter here's the sad truth of this. Here's the hard reality. You can't expect things to just happen to you. You can't expect things to just be handed to you on a silver platter. And anti-feminists all being teenagers who have no real world experience. Ha! Go to Tumblr. Go to Twitter. It's like, it's very difficult to find any feminism whose age doesn't end in teens. Okay, to steal the words from T.J. Kirk, the Amazing Atheist. Okay, most feminism, okay, most feminazis are in their teen years. Or they're 19, 18, like any age that ends with teen, basically is what I'm saying. I don't need feminism because I equate surviving trauma with being weak and that's a totally okay to relate relate with other people oh my god you always have to turn everything into a trauma especially being women in in, in of itself because like oh my god being weak are you trying to say are, are you trying to say that to um Emotional women or sensitive women because that that's I get the feeling that's exactly what you're saying Sensitive women are totally weak fuck yourself No Just because a person is sensitive that doesn't mean they're being weak You got that you fucking for brains Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going with and I I meant it the way I said it Oh wait! You can't possibly get one! Because you're too busy bitching and whining over stupid shit! Okay, okay. Did, did I come out a little harsh? Okay, I'm sorry if I came off as overly harsh, but still. Your ignorance just needed to be... Ugh. I don't need feminism because I want boys to like me. Okay, that one is just too dumb to comment on, but I will anyways. Okay, there are women against feminism because... Not the reason you're putting out there. Okay, women aren't... Get Women aren't anti-feminists just to get boys to like them. They're anti-feminists because they're fucking tired of the fucking rhetoric that fucking claims to fucking talk for them, you fucking moron. They are tired with the fucking philosophy that fucking claims to fucking talk for them. Just fucking speak on behalf of them. Let me get this fucking straight. Okay, 
Let me just get this point fucking straight, feminazis. You do not talk on behalf of all women, okay? Women are fucking capable of talking for the fucking selves. Okay. The point we need to derive from this is that the, um... Women against feminism? Yeah. Feminists, you have no idea just what the fuck the women against fem feminism are actually trying to say. Oh my god. This is just fucking ridiculous. Like I said, I don't normally talk on like something that's like a year old at this point, but. I had to make a special exception this time around. I will, I will be talking about more relevant subject matter in the um, next rant time, but this is something I had to get off my chest. Cause like I said in my previous rant, I do this to I do this to get shit off my chest and get shit out there. Anyway, this is McLeod. I'll see you guys later for part two of my continuation of double standards.